I'm just recording. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Good evening. Um, just before six o'clock this evening, about 5:45, officers were flagged down in the area of the 3200 to 3300 block of North Sherman Drive. Um, at that point, they had a female. It was an adult female who had an apparent gunshot wound. That female was, IMS responded to that female and transported her to a local hospital for treatment. During that time period with the officers, she advised the officers that this incident had occurred in the 2900 block of Dearborn, North Dearborn. Officers responded over here where they located a male in the street with an apparent gunshot wound to the body. IMS responded, pronounced him deceased here at the scene. Right. Currently, homicide detectives are here at the scene. They are gathering information and hoping to speak with anyone who witnessed this incident. There is a large community that is gathering around. We ask them to please be patient. Please be kind and just allow the officers to do their job. We understand that there might be family members that might be affected, but please bear with us. We're willing to talk to you. Just please come to us, you know, approach us and we'll have a conversation anyone that saw this we do continue to advise them what we've always said see something say something this is your community call us call 911 if you saw something felt something they will make sure that you get connected to the right person feel free to call the homicide office they can get you connected to the correct detective you can do this anonymously but we do ask for the community's support in all these events um, do you have any questions right now about the connection between the female and the male. Yeah, detectives are, are still gathering all that information to establish what exactly occurred and how they knew each other. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of people out here. Have any of them indicated that they may have seen what has happened uh, at all? You know, I don't know that, like I said, the detectives are down in the uh, further area and they're doing their job and I don't want to interrupt them. You know, it's more important that they help this victim out and the victim that's at the hospital. Any suspects, anybody in custody, anything like that? Not at this time. Uh, what do we know about their injuries? Uh, right now we know that they each have a gunshot wound. One was uh, fatal and the other one is being treated. And we don't know where in the body those wounds are? No. Okay. Do we know the age of the person that was killed? We know that they're both adults right now. Um, and uh, some who identified themselves as the family member of uh, the male victim here says he's in his 30s. Can you confirm that? I don't know. We haven't had a positive ID on that person down there. Um, you know, that's that's something the coroner's office will do the actual ID, make sure this is a positive ID on who, who is down there. You know, like I said, there's a lot of family members. We don't want to say the wrong thing, uh, make it believe that somebody else, went because some family m member thinks that that's their relative, we want to be positive and we don't want to give someone, you know, false stress when you have so many people around a scene like this including so many people who are obviously very emotional at this time does that make it the investigation a little bit more difficult or does that help having so many people around? you know we understand having people around we don't mind that you know this is their community they want to know what's going on and I understand that but the the most important thing is not to try to take things into your own hands not to try to get into the scene in other ways I'm sure there are ways that you could get into a scene, but we have to have officers standing at every corner. And instead of those officers helping with the crime scene, we're having to hold back people who have no business being in there. When you bring, go into a crime scene, that affects the integrity of a scene. We want to make sure that we can collect all the evidence possible to lead us to the person who did this. And that's something that was going on. People were trying to get into the crime scene, obviously very excitable. Very excitable and very emotional. And I understand that any type of situation where we have a person that's deceased is emotional, not just to the people around, but to the officers. They've responded here and they're seeing something that they don't really need to see. And I know it's early, but uh, any kind of suspect information? Not right now. What was it the other scene? I missed the very beginning. Can you just give me the so officers responded to the 30, were waved down in the 3300 block of North Sherman Drive, reference a person shot. That person was an adult female. She was shot um, and tr she was then transported to a local hospital for treatment. During that time, she directed 
the officers to this location in the 2900 block of North Dearborn where um, officers located an adult male deceased. IMS pronounced him deceased on the scene. Did she say that she was shot here or did she just She just said that in the incident occurred over here. And was she in a vehicle at a time incident? She was in a vehicle at that point. We don't know if she got into a vehicle and drove over there or if that was how she got there right now. And the male here was not in a vehicle, correct? At this point, we don't know if he was in a vehicle prior to this, but he is currently in, you know, along the street. Any anything indication else? Indication the female was involved in any other, like, aggressor way? Or? You know, at this point, detectives are still trying to gather that. They're still trying to put this t together and find out what happened. So, again, I can't, re I cannot, you know, emphasize this enough. If you saw something, you know, call 262 tips, call the homicide office and let them know what you saw. Every little thing helps. This is your community. You should take pride in your community and you should stand up for your community. Thank uh, you. Any on the uh, stable. Stable. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Chair. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Chair. You're welcome. Yeah.